It's been five years, my guy. Five years. You gotta understand, I always tell people, Lamar has not truly had a true receiving number one or number two. The man is playing with threes and fours. Maybe two. In my opinion, a top five quarterback when healthy. Top ten when he's not. But top five quarterback when healthy. The only quarterback for sure that I can say is truly in front of him is Patrick Mahomes. Right? And go work for an uh, agent company for a little while to go know the, the, the ins and outs of eight of being a, a sports agent. Your mother should, you should not be your mother's only client. In my opinion, I always felt this way. No disrespect to your mother. But I always felt like how it, it, came, it, it has come out to the media, to me, she always wanted to be Tasha Mack. Anybody ever seen the game? It seemed like his mama wanted to be Tasha Mack. I could be wrong. He supposed to be Malik. And she wanted to be Tasha Mack. Hey, yo. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back again with another video. We back again with another banger for your head top. Now, I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. But I'm back. But we're coming with a different type of video. It's not a reaction on this video. Like, I like sports. I'm going to talk about sports on here every now and then. You know what I'm saying? If you like the video, like the video. Share the video. Share the video. But I'm just not going to just do reactions and talk. You know, doing, you know, the last several videos I have. I do like sports. There has been a lot of sports news out. And so I'm going to drop some content on sports. And you get a dose of me. So be thankful. <laughs> Make sure you like the video, share the video, comment and subscribe. I know I'm great. I know that you're great. So let's be great together and build a whole different type of greatness. Yeah, it is. Now this video might not be too long because I'm trying to keep this under. I'm gonna try to keep it under five minutes, and, and you know, we y'all can go on about y'all day. I might just drop two of these sports videos today because I have two topics on my mind. The number one topic that I'm talking about today is Lamar Jackson. In my opinion, a top five quarterback when healthy. Top ten when he's not. But top five quarterback when healthy. The only quarterback for sure that I can say is truly in front of him is Patrick Mahomes. Anybody else I'm not going for. Josh Allen, no. Justin Herbert, hell no. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I ain't seen enough yet. Um, who else you got? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can go A-Rod because of past history and whatnot, but there's only one quarterback truly I could say is better than um, Lamar. I tell you like this, when you look at it and you take it into account, Lamar Jackson has had, to, has had to do the most work with the least amount of help over his career. Right? This is the this is the first year Patrick Mahomes didn't have uh, 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 Tyree Hill, but he did have Travis Kelsey, who is the number one tight end in the league, and then that even close. The number one tight end, and I'm gonna say receiving tight end because there are tight ends that block complete way better than him, but he can't block. But the number one receiver, receiving tight end. Josh Allen, I always tell people, everybody got this fascination with Josh Allen. But I will, I will remind you, his first two years in the league before he got to uh, got uh, Stephon Diggs, he was another guy in the league. I always, I always compare uh, Josh Allen to Jay Cutler, a more athletic Jay Cutler. With that being said, that's meaning like, bro, he has a big arm that can, can run. Jay Cutler. He gonna, he gonna put up phenomenal stats. But when you need him the most, he's not there. Because that's what a lot of people try to say. He said about Lamar Jackson, he has a one and three record in the playoffs. But he gets you there. How many of those quarterbacks gets you to the get you to the dance? Hey, as long as I can get, in my opinion, as long as I can get in the dance and show what I know, you feel me. You know, I, I, I'm cool with that. But you gotta understand, I always tell people, Lamar has not truly had a true Receiving number one or number two. The man is playing with threes and fours. Maybe twos. You know what I'm saying? Or people that's past their prime who aren't the same players such as a Deshaun Jackson, such as a, 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 a Dash Bryant. Older players, right? 
You have a Sammy Watkins who's young, but Sammy Watkins, he can, he was only like 28, 29, but he seemed like he was 38, 39. He been, he, it seemed like he'd been in the league forever. It seemed like he was in the league with Joe Horn was playing. That's how long he seemed like he'd been playing. And Sammy Watkins, uh, after they, that, 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 that last year with Kansas City, he ain't never been the same. No disrespect to him. And no disrespect to the receivers that are on Baltimore, but they're just not that good. You see what a number, a true number one wide receiver does for a quarterback? Do you see what a true number one does for a quarterback? The only quarterback who can truly say they didn't have a number one until later in their career is Tom Brady. Tom Brady had... Twos and threes and fours and fives as receivers. And he was making them guys, you know, something. But it wasn't just Tom Brady. It was the offense that they ran. They ran a timing offense. And I also say you got to blame Baltimore because Baltimore did not put, yeah, what I was saying about the Ravens. That is, the Ravens have never truly given my man Lamar a, a true number one weapon to succeed. They have not given this man a true number one weapon. If you get this man a weapon or two, really two, because I will say even if you was to get a D-Hop or you was to get an Odell or you was to get, um, let's just say out of balls to the wall, Devontae Adams or a Cooper Cup or somebody of that nature that's number one receivers or a Keenan Allen or a Mike Williams or whoever you want to put right there. Whatever, whoever you feel like is a top 10, top 15 receiver in the league, right? Whoever you want to put right there, you need still you still need another guy on the opposite side that's somebody. It doesn't have to be number one, but it definitely has to be a true legitimate number two. What I'll say is Bateman is cool, right? But let's just say Bateman would be your second or third option. Preferably, I would want Bateman to be my second or third option. If Bateman is your number one, you Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem, right? So, they saying Lamar is asking for $150 million guarantee. Well, not $150 million. He has for $250 million guarantee. He wants a guaranteed contract. I would say Lamar is only asking for a fully guaranteed contract from the Ravens. Why? Because you have not given me the requisite, requisite pieces to succeed. You want to depend on my running ability and me throwing to a tight end. Now, we can say, okay, the offense, the offense, the offense, the offense. Even when Greg Roman was there, you never gave Greg Roman the, uh, the requisite pieces to change his offense. Right? We went tight end, tight end, tight end, tight end, and you might go to loan to uh, 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 Marquis Hollywood Brown. He was there. My whole point, my whole point is I'm asking for a fully guaranteed contract from the Ravens. But if it was another team, I'm not asking for that. Because if you could show me right when you're about to sign me that you're willing to go get a guy or two or already have a guy or two, then you have then I will be willing to come. Once again, I stay in Atlanta. I am no Atlanta Falcons fan. Anybody that know me know I dislike the the Falcons with a passion. I don't care for them. They are the the true meaning of what you like to call mid. They're a mid team, right? They had out the purports has come out and said that the Atlanta Falcons are out on um, Lamar Jackson, also the, the Dolphins, also the Panthers, and the Panthers got number one overall pick, so it makes sense for them. But they made a terrible trade because you you going to get a quarterback, but you gave up DJ Moore. You gave up two first round picks in two seconds. That's what the, if, if you give a Lamar the contract, all you had to do was give up two number ones. All right? The Commanders and somebody else. Well, my point of it is the Commanders, hey, man, y'all got Scary Terry. Eric B. Enemy. I know that offense is going to be wow. It's going to be wow. It'll be amazing. Lamar and Scary Terry will be crazy. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, they want uh, the owner of the commanders to be to, to sell his team. What would be the what would be so amazing if he was to say, you know what? Here's my middle finger to the whole elite. I'm going to give Lamar 250, 260, 270 million dollars guaranteed. Jeff, you wrote something bad about me in the Washington Post, or your people did. 
I said this team, but you're going to have a quarterback that you got to pay this money. Granted, you can play this money, but the, but the salary cap is the salary cap. You feel me? You can give him 270, no problem. But the salary cap is the salary cap. You got to work around that. But the Washington, you know what I'm saying? But my whole point of it is, if I'm a team and I'm a quarterback away, such as like I would say Washington is, I would say Atlanta, they have a lot more pieces they need to get. But if you have Drake London and, and, and Kyle Pitts and maybe go get a guy like maybe a Odell or, 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 or a Keenan Allen or somebody like that, then you just got to solidify the offense, right? There are so many teams releasing players on the defensive side of the ball because a lot, a lot of Atlanta Falcons fans like to say, oh, we need to get defense, we need to go get defense, we need to go get defense. Well, you have Bobby Wagner, Frank Clark, and you have so many, Tyler Lewin and all these other defensive players that have been getting released, people that have great years these past years that you can go get. Because you know why? You're in Atlanta. You're in a hub spot that people will want to be a city. People will want to be. And they will probably take a little bit less money to come here because you know what? It's Atlanta. We have a true shot with Lamar. Lamar automatically, if you're in the NFC, automatically push you in the playoff. Hell, even if you're in the AFC, he automatically push you in the playoff. So why not take the chance and, 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 and see what the man's talking about? But I would say also, Lamar needs to hire an agent. He needs to hire an agent, in my most humble opinion. He needs to hire an agent, because if he hires an agent, if he hires an agent, the agent could go give him the best deal possible. You know what I'm saying? My, at this point, your mom, she may know a lot. But I, I would say this. You've been in the league for five years. The NFL PA or the NFL, they have something where they want their, their, their agents to be certified. It's been five years. I don't know if your mother, and I doubt, she has her agent's license. And she hasn't been certified. It's been five years. It don't take five years to go get your agent's uh, certification or license, whatever that is. Right? So why hasn't she done it? It's been five years, my guy. Five years. One thing about it, your mama doesn't know everything. You know what I'm saying? She may have your best wishes at heart, but people outside your own family can, have, can put your put their best efforts for you to succeed, right? Just because you might your pride is in a way, put it to the side, go hire somebody. Go hire, bro. It's not, I'm gonna be honest with you. After you won the MVP, your what second or third year, you should have you should have had a shoot deal on the table, and, and really almost a signature shoot deal. I, I would say. But if not, you should have had a, well, you're making five, six, seven, eight million dollars a year, ten million dollars a year after your MVP year. You know why you didn't have that? Because you don't have the proper people in place to put it. My point of it is, if your mom wanted to be your agent and you want your mom to be an agent, tell her to go get her agent's license or agent's degree or whatever it is, right? And go work for an agent company for a little while to go know the, the, the ins and out of eight of being a, a sports agent. Your mother should, you should not be your mother's only client. In my opinion, I always felt this way. No disrespect to your mother. But I always felt like how it, it, came, it has come out to the media, to me, she always wanted to be Tasha Mack. Anybody ever seen the game? It seemed like his mama wanted to be Tasha Mack. I could be wrong. He wanted to be Malik. And she wanted to be Tasha Mack. Lamar, I love you, my guy. But go hire an agent. Go hire Rich Paul then. Go hire LeBron people. They're going to get you your money. They, bro, as soon as you call them, they, you got a Nike deal right on the table because you know they plugged in with Nike. Right? You're going to get this contract. It might not be fully guaranteed, but it's going to be so close to guarantee that they're going to say, okay, cool. And I don't like this narrative. You know what? I'm not going to put no more in this video. If you like this content, make sure you like the video, share the video, comment and subscribe. You want a part two to this video, you want just me to continue to talk about sports more often, comment down below, drop a like. You know, your boy is going to do this on a regular basis. Like I said, I got another video on the way about sports. We talking about sports, you know what I'm saying? And we talking about everything. So, make sure you like the video, share the video, comment and subscribe. I'm trying to be great out here. You'll feel me.